Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Velvet Rope. I'm 21 years old and I was at Carleton University for uh, social work. Yeah, so uh, this year, 2017, marks the 20 year anniversary of uh, Jan Jackson's Velvet Rope album. And uh, as a dance artist and just overall human being, uh, the album played an unbelievable role in my life. I felt as if I owed it to the album to create such a thing just because. It really did advance me, and uh, and honestly, in a lot of forms that I can't even begin to express. Like I can't, I can't necessarily find the proper words to express how much this album and how much Janet Jackson means to me as an artist. So I feel like this short film uh, expresses what my words cannot. When I was about in grade two, uh, we had an older cousin that moved in with us. And uh, she worked at Rogers, and uh, for the first time we got cable, and I discovered uh, that we had channels that passed 100. <laughs> so within the 700s uh, region of the channels, we had uh, there were these three channels that would just play music videos 24/7, and uh, with that I became severely uh, fascinated with Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson, and I began to use their framework as. Um, a form of mentorship to teach myself how to dance. I've been dismissed as a legitimate dancer because I am self-taught, but I argue I've been taught by the best people in the business. When I first came across the album, um, I was uh, 16 years old and I was in high school, uh, grade 11, and I w honestly just wasn't having uh, I wasn't having the best time in my life in terms of there's a lot of personal conflict within myself, uh, a lot of relation conflicts. Everything to me started uh, started to lose meaning. It didn't make sense anymore, and uh, that's when I first listened to the Velvet Rope, and it just opened up my eyes. See, there's certain things that I feel like Janet has taught me, or for example, Michael Jackson has taught me that um, I don't believe school could have ever taught me. Uh, one of the songs that spoke to me the most was uh, What About? And that's the song where uh, Jenna is speaking about um, mental and physical abuse. And the reason it spoke to me was just like the first time I heard that, I was so taken back. I've never heard a song, a, a song of pop nature uh, that was so raw, so uh, detailed. It, she painted a very, she was very, she played a very good narrative role as a singer. And that's something that I feel like uh, a lot of pop music is lacking, a true story behind it. So that was the first element behind it. And the second one, it was just, it was so relatable in the sense of Janet is talking about an abusive relationship. I've never been in an abusive relationship, but it was so relatable in the sense of where I was at at that time. So just being a male dancer uh, and listening to people like Janet Jackson, Britney Spears, you could just imagine I was, I've been called every name in the book. So Janet, she was in a very, very dark place when she wrote this album, when she, when she was even putting it all together. She uh, was dealing with a lot of dis uh, body dysmorphia issues, uh, dealing with a lot of mental health issues, and uh, a lot of old memories for her started resurfacing. Even just, um, there's some things that she mentioned, little things from her childhood, uh, a teacher shaming her would come back and for some reason it was... Um, it was heavier than ever before. And back in 97, no one was talking about mental health issues. And so all the topics that she's discussing in this album is still completely relevant today, even 20 years later. This album really, really, uh, it, it really defines what it means to withstand time. And, that, and so with this short film, it was important for those ideas to be, um, and these ideologies to be talked about again.